Okay, I wanted to go over the circuit breaker. Um, circuit breaker, uh, if the uh, unit draws more than 30 amps, the circuit breaker will kick off and uh, it will kick back on automatically when it cools down. So uh, this is uh, put in, in place of a, a fuse that you normally have to replace if you went over 30 amps. But uh, easy to install that. Um, your 12 volt power coming off your uh, battery um, just runs right into one side of the circuit breaker and you go right back out the other side of the circuit breaker and do uh, pin 30 on your relay. And that, that's uh, essentially all you do to hook that up. Okay, we're going to uh, go ahead and fill the generator um, with uh, electrolyte and uh, water and uh, go ahead and start it up. Okay, I've uh, installed the flashback killer onto the top of the uh, reservoir along with the hose going in and uh, I like to install it right next to the output. You can install it anywhere. Um, this kind of controls any condensation that might come in through out of the generator reservoir into the line. Um, line goes in to the air box where the air cleaner is and it's sucked up by the, uh, the engine. Electrolyte for our uh, uh, reservoir. Now this unit takes just about two liters of water. So get something you can measure with. Um, this here has, you probably can't see it on the video, but uh, use only distilled water. Uh, fill it up to uh, two liters and uh, uh, take uh, one teaspoon of potassium hydroxide, just one teaspoon, um, and dump it into the water. Uh, putting too much electrolyte into the water will draw too many amps and uh, could damage your dry cell. Um, one teaspoon potassium hydroxide to two liters of distilled water, your generator will, will draw 20 amps cold and 25 amps when it's hot. That's the uh, most efficient uh, spot for it to be in. Um, you can uh, mix a little bit less uh, KOH, potassium hydroxide, and uh, so if you want to draw uh, less amps, uh, maybe a half teaspoon if you want to start at 15 amps. Um, and I don't suggest going any more than, uh, than uh, 25 amps. Uh, the uh, unit will uh, handle up to 40 amps. Uh, but uh, you'll need to uh, switch out your wiring to a heavier gauge wire. Um, and then uh, to be able to draw that many amps. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to pour the water in and uh, we're going to start up the uh, start up the generator. Okay, the water is in. Uh, I'll turn the system on. It's working very well. You can see the water and HHO traveling up the line. Uh, the water is returning back to the generator on the bottom hose. You can see the uh, production there. Um, one last thing to note on this install, this cap must be firmly closed and tight. Uh, if it isn't tight, you can get a leak, leak of HHO out of this cap. Um, so make sure you've got it real firm, firmly tightened. Um, and that will cause uh, uh, to uh, not have any leaks of HHO. This concludes uh, this install of the Hydro TKO dry cell available at hydrogenko.com.